excuse me, I still have the mixture of gummy and cookie stuck in my teeth <laughs> from the from the Brad tries that I just shot, which was on the Chips Ahoy uh, Sour Patch Kids cookies. So the natural progression from going from the uh, Chips Ahoy Sour Patch Kids cookie is clearly the combination, latest Franken food combination, of Pop Tarts and Fruit Loop cereal. I hope this is exactly what it is. It's a regular Pop Tart with little bits of uh, Fruit Loops, with pieces of Fruit Loops put glued right there on the frosting as brought to you by a, a talking bird. See, this is how they get you. There I was in 7-Eleven wearing my mask, casing the joint as I do every Friday. Also getting uh, a soda and some chips and uh, you know, possibly some hand sanitizer if there's time. And there at the checkout aisle, they, they, they must know I'm a frequent customer. So you see cereal, Pop-Tarts, limited edition, clearly Brad tries material. Some people buy tabloid magazines as a checkout aisle purchase. Me, uh, silly things like the, uh, the Fruit Loops Pop-Tarts. So, well, we're gonna go ahead and try this. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Fruit Loops in, in the world. I, I much prefer Tricks, Fruity Pebbles. Fruit Loops just always had that, like, kind of chalky taste to it that I didn't like. Okay, I wasn't... <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I, I think I accidentally got the flavor where they, they killed a cartoon penguin and decided to put pieces of him on the, on the, uh, on the actual Pop-Tart, which is crumbling all over the place. No wonder 7-Eleven's trying to get rid of these. I'm just holding it, and it's disintegrating. It, it definitely has the vibe. What's on the next one? Oh, okay. Uh, I, I'm with Sam. I was not expecting... Uh, I, I'm with Sam's bow tie. Oh my god! It's, <laughs> it's whoa, if ever there was a food that should be marked fragile, this is, uh, you know what? Uh, I, I take back what I said about the Fruit Loop cereal being too chalky. Clearly, th that was just the warm up to what would be the Pop Tarts version of it. But no, I appreciate the, uh, the for going one step farther than. <laughs> than what I thought was going to be on it from the wrapper. No, they went a very, it's a very patriotic uh, breakfast. <laughs> I'm with, I'm with Toucan Sam, Uncle Sam, take your difference. And when you pick up uh, the Fruit Loops Pop-Tarts, also buy War Bonds today. So let, me just, let me just go ahead and break this in half. All right, I'll eat the I'm with part. I'll save the other part of it for whenever I run into somebody named Sam. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Mm. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Now here's a uh, here's where you can argue amongst yourselves in the comments the fact I ate this cold. So I can eat pop tarts either way. I can eat it warmed up with some butter on it, whatever, or I can eat it cold. Now more often than not. I do eat it cold because usually when I'm eating pop tarts, it's little packages like this, and I'm eating it on the go. Like I'm just taking it with me in the car, or I'm on a trip, at, or on a gas station, or heading to a convention or something. You know, I, I need my uh, <laughs> pop tart form, like breakfast pastry fruit thing. Like, well, I can well I can eat it right outside the package, so I'm fine with eating it cold. It's kind of what I'm used to. Well, when I was a kid, I'd eat it warm. I had more time back then. Um, here's why this was weird to me. Like, now I'm alright with it. Like, because I'm like, okay. Doesn't really have that kind of chalky thing going on. Like, well, I mean, it does a little bit. You saw it crumble apart in my hand. In terms of actually eating it. No, there's the uh, texture and consistency of a regular Pop-Tart with a... Uh, just a, a Fruit Loops flavor to it. That combination works. It does. I actually prefer this over Fruit Loop cereal. But that first taste, 
I don't know how to describe this. Now I'm eating it, and it tastes fine. What merited the what the hell reaction was because for some reason, when I took a bite out of it, it tasted like it was a Pop-Tart with Taco Bell flavoring. Maybe, like, my taste buds are now finally confused to the point of no return. <laughs> it was the Sour Patch Kids Chips Ahoy that did it. They've finally gone berserk. Anyway, my taste buds have... They're... <laughs> they're, they're full... One flew over the cuckoo's nest. One too many touches of... Uh, of shock treatment so naturally when you bite into something it's going to taste like something radically different before it tastes like the thing that it's supposed to be so once you get so if you're batshit insane like like i am or at least the the inside of my mouth is once you get past the initial initial taco bell beef se seasoning taste of the fruit loops pop tarts the rest of it will uh the rest of it will taste more like uh, <laughs> pop tarts filled with Fruit Loops. Um, once you get past that, it actually kind of works. It's at least worth a uh, you know checkout aisle purchase. All right, all right. Um, there goes my lunch. So follow us on Twitter at the Cinema Snob. Subscribe to our channel, youtubecom Productions. Also support us on Patreon as well. That's patreon.com slash the cinema snob. See ya. See, see, I told you. My mouth is now confused. See you later. Meow.